This video demonstrates how to install the most popular electronic or keyless cylindrical door locks. First, you will need to measure the back set size. There are two standard back size sides, which are either 2 and 3 8 inches or 2 and 3 quarter inches. The measurement back side size is the distance between the edge of the door and the center of the hole. To start off the installation, install the latch into the latch hole with the slanted side facing the door jamb. Secure the latch with screws. You may use a drill to speed up the process, but we don't recommend you fully tighten the screws with the drill. Use a screwdriver to do that so you don't damage anything. You may use the original strike plate if this is a replacement type of installation. If needed, you may also install a new strike plate by removing the old one and replacing it with the new one. Next, insert the outdoor unit. Some keyless door locks may have a gasket or a plate for the door units. If your unit has one, put the gasket or the plate on first, making sure any connective wires are in their proper positions. When you insert the outdoor unit, align the mechanism with the latch. You may need to slightly wiggle the unit in, but do not force it in. Try turning the handle of the outdoor unit to make sure that the outdoor unit in the latch is functioning and properly installed. To install the indoor unit, put the gasket or plate on first if needed. Then insert the indoor unit while still holding the outdoor unit. Using one hand, hold both the indoor and outdoor unit at the same time. With the other hand, secure the indoor unit with screws and a screwdriver. Slightly tighten one screw at a time. For the first one, you will need to make sure that you're aligning the indoor and outdoor unit perfectly in order to screw the screw in. Start off slow using a screwdriver, and when you feel that it is aligned, continue to tighten the screw and do the same with the second screw. Many locks, such as this lock, will have a third screw for extra securement. This lock has a screw at the top. It is not necessary to tighten the screw, but if you don't mind making a hole in your door to screw this in, we recommend you do so, but again, it is not necessary. The lock is installed. Test the lock before fully closing the door so you avoid locking yourself out and to ensure it works properly. If this video has helped you in any way, please thumbs up this video and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a comment with any questions or suggestions for the next video. Thank you for watching.